Calypsonian and cultural icon, the mighty Gabi, wants Barbadians to have a better understanding of their history and their connection to Africa. He made the point during a recent wide-ranging interview with Nation News. We may not be alive, but the day is going to come. We see African people leaning on our beaches like the Europeans as tourists. It's an Africa, but we are only four and a half hours away from West Africa. But yet we are made to believe that we are so far away mentally. If the Bobby think Africa, he never thinks four and a half hours away. He always thinks, my God, Africa so far away. And we just cross the Atlantic. A direct flight, and we get there before we get to New York. You know, so we must think in terms of that. To understand as a people, we cannot self a second best. And remember who Barbados is and was. Mm. Barbados was at what I believe on that richest country in the world. People would say, nonsense, get it off. Go back next week. Go and read a book called The Sugar Barons. See the role of our respite in colonizing places like North and South Carolina, Virginia. I know that the first seven governors of Virginia were Barbadian or Barbadian parentage. The things that they teach our children to be so proud that the little Barbados was responsible for colonizing Virginia, the United States. You know, that's like the first man to die in the U.S. Civil War with a Barbadian named Christopher Adolex. Those are things that we should teach our children. But some of our teachers don't even know mm -hmm. because they have not been trained in that area. They've been trained in mostly mathematics and English and pass it on to us. And then a little bit of geography and, and you know history, and, but not necessarily <laughs> history that is the history that it enhances and, and, and enlightens and, and educates our people to be proud of themselves. It's a history that that is mostly based on what happened with England and then we are like on the fringe side of that. And to me, that's wrong. So I give my whole adult life practically since age 23. Trying to understand us, trying to pass on what knowledge I know, and trying to always be conscious, um, conscious of food, conscious of our people, conscious of religion, recognizing so many things. For example, more than 80% of our people who came who were enslaved were Muslims. But every Barbadian don't see a Muslim as being part of his life at all. That's an Indian out there been so long who was playing food. Right? But he doesn't understand that his four parents were Muslims and then were not allowed to practice Islam um, because the Europeans forbid uh, religion, the language, religion, and, and the culture. If you realize that, even if you don't become a Muslim, the point is, at least, you carry a different look. Where it's like hearing that your grandma was born in St. Philip or born in Everton. It may mean something more to you if you know that, as opposed to that you don't even know where your grandmother was born. It's so important.